Welcome everybody to episode five of the Lookout Podcast. And if you have been subscribed for this past week, shout out to you. Shout out to everybody who's just been locked in because this is a feat in itself for getting five episodes out in one week and making sure <laughs> people pay the hell attention. But we managed to do it. And we have a guest. We, we, we that guest. We'll we'll talk about it. But we're we're bringing back my man Jeff. The, yeah, the coolest man in the room. The only person I could really feel strongly about talking about. Man. Dragon Ball I had episode one hundred thirty time on episode on on the first in, first two episodes that we did. It was such a good time, man. I, I had to come back, man. Listen, there's only one person I could talk to about episode one hundred thirty, and it's the person who watched it multiple <laughs> times. Yeah, I gave it a run. I gave it a good <laughs> run, man. Facts. Five minutes before we did this, I told you. Listen, we are excited for the Tournament of Power finale. It is this Sunday. Um, we have thoughts. We're gonna get to those. We have a lot of different things, but I just gotta get I just gotta get some business out of the way. Yeah. We've done this the entire week. We've had amazing guests on. We've had you. We've had my boy Flash that I've had on. I've known him since I was probably like 10 years old. Uh, we had him on. We've had two belts. This is me and Carlos and my boy Jimmy. We've had all three of us on. But I need. I, I'm, I was going through all those episodes, and I was just like, yo, I can't do this alone. And I need somebody. Yeah. I need somebody to do this podcast with me on a, like, permanent basis i need oh, someone to do this on a permanent basis i need someone to who knows super more than me i need someone who who knows the manga more than me i need someone to tell the ladies their their eyeshadow looks amazing today <laughs> i need someone so you know what jeff i'm, I'm extending the invitation oh, would man. you like to be the permanent co-host of the lookout podcast listen man i, I would i'll be honored bro like i can do this all day, every day, we can talk about it. We can talk about Dragon Ball. We could talk about Z. We could talk about Super. We can even talk about GT. I saw some fans on Twitter mm -hmm. uh, asking us if we were going to talk about GT, and I saw your response. So you guys might have to sit through some GT talk, but it is what it is. I'd be, have to honored. Sit I'd be honored to be a part of this full time. It's a beautiful thing. And not to say that we're not going to have guests on this show still, yeah, yeah. but we. it's just, you know... It's more lively. The party is here. So, shout out Jeff. Me. It's, it's this is now the the. This is just me and Jeff now on the lookout podcast. Yeah, lookout, man. Listen, it's a it's a wave. Come on, amazing. Um, first things first. Before we even talk about Dragon Ball Super, we got episodes sure. to go through. We have to talk about this trailer that dropped earlier in the week. Oh yeah, we can give it to him now. Um. A trailer for Dragon Ball Super the movie. The thing that we're waiting for in the midst of Dragon Ball Super seemingly going on hiatus. I don't know how long, but it, it's going on hiatus. But we can expect um, a full-length uh, global release of the new Dragon Ball Super movie. And the trailer is out, and everyone still has questions. Yeah, with beautiful animation. Uh, I, I love the way it flows. I love the way it looks. It's, it's, a, not... it's, it's a new type of... Well, I don't know if it's how much new it is, but it feels like a new type of animation. I mean... Right. It, I, I'm just glad it looks soft. Like, it doesn't look necessarily, like, harsh. You know what I'm right. saying? It just has a really has really good color. And, I, and I, I, it just it was good all around. It's, it's a contrast from what we see in um, episode 130 of the thing, where we see just... just Everything is so like real. There's veins yeah. popping out of Jiren's head yeah. and all these other things. But it's so crisp. But everyone's wondering, like, who is this guy that Goku's facing? Is it another Saiyan? Is it another? Is it alien? Who are we? What are we getting into with this new trailer, my friend? Man, you know, after examining it uh, a few times since the trailer's it's, what, about 30 seconds. It was like 33. Yeah, 36. Yeah, I so, mean, yeah. I, I watched it a few different times. I, I can't really figure it out. It looks like the armor is, is Saiyan. Uh, I want to say it is Saiyan. It looks I, like it. It looks like it. It looks like it. It looks very Bardockish to me. Yes. Um, they're in snow. They're in a snowy terrain. They're in a snowy terrain. Cool and different. Uh, the zoom in on the, on the, what is it, the right side of the face. So you can kind of see the eyes a little bit. Black hair. It's, the hair looks definitely black. Yes. It looks like a, a somewhat of a Saiyan hair. Now, uh, I, there's a lot. I know there's a lot of Universe uh, uh, Six talk, right? So, uh, yeah, 
I, I'm saying time. Universe 8. I'm going out the limb on Universe 8 or some shit like that. Just some wild <laughs> shit? Just Universe 1. Just one of those universes that aren't in the tournament. You know, I think it is the... Uh, I think it's the saying that Beerus was talking about early in the series in Super um, about having... Uh, he said somewhat of a vision or dream about fighting some legendary Super Saiyan. And I think this person could be who he's talking about. Uh, as far as like just some out the wall uh, prediction, hey, maybe it's Goku's mom. <laughs> <laughs> this know, is I, crazy, I, I man. But the, awesome. anim- the animation, it says a Saiyan has no limits. Yeah. It says, you know, Earth has Goku. It And what does it mean i mean we're, we're, everyone's predicting it's a saying I'm, i mean it looks like it just an armor it looks like a saying everyone's saying it's maybe the tail but an old looks- school saying too right because it's not like like i said look at that look at that armor dude yeah like, it just looks so like original right this isn't saying. some of something that like bulma has recreated or something yeah. this is just like original this looks like he's wearing some sort of you know some sort of like cloth around his waist um his eyes, I think the hue is throwing everybody off and just the eyes and just it, everything. I don't know, but it it looks it looks good. I mean, 30 seconds, they got me hyped. They already got my money. They got everything. Yeah, it's a wrap. Global release, too? Global yeah. release? This we, I, we, I might have to fly to New York and we may just have to do it, make something out of that, man. We got to we gotta <laughs> do something, man. We got to take kids to this like they did for Black Panther. We got to yeah. all this, like, we got to figure out something, Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. It looks like a good time. I mean, I'm just glad that it's it's coming at such a, isn't the timing ideal? The timing, yeah. The timing is ideal to drop this trailer. It's, well, it's the peak of everything sort of Dragon Ball Super right now. Because, True. Um, we saw with episode, I mean, episode 130, Mm-hmm. It crushed Crunchyroll. It like it, it was <laughs> Crunchyroll and fun and fun animation, man. It, the site was down for hours upon hours upon hours. Um, government, I I saw you know videos of government like airing it in their country just oh, for the that masses. That was lovely, man. That was it, so cool. It was trending worldwide on Twitter, like all this other thing. Like this is such an era that we're living in, where it's like Dragon Ball. It makes me want to wish that they managed to get the dub and the sub at the same time but i don't know it's definitely not possible yeah that probably never happened dude but it's always it's just like it's it's so accessible now whereas when we were watching dragon ball we were years behind and there was like nothing really we could do about it internet wasn't up to the speed then everything like that but everything is so locked in and everything is so happening at the same time. And it's so accessible. I've never, I never thought I'd be watching anything subbed. I'm sure J five who, you know, who we <laughs> yeah, managed to get, sub, yeah. Who we managed to get to watch the entire dragon ball super series. Or I won't say he hates sub. He's not, he, but he never thought he would watch subs. He never thought that he'd have to read while watching this, but it's just, it's just so incredible, man. Like it's, it's worth all the time you invest in it because it's just a great story. Yeah, I, I honestly, I wish it just came. I just, I wish a network would pick it up under sub. Like if they, if that was an idea, like man, how, has anybody called and said, "Look, can we, can we push this yeah. show out?" Like, yeah, like on on our network, on just sub because it's so good. I, I, I feel like it deserved that look, but the fact that it, you know, also Twitter has done it, like, more, oh yeah, like it, it, it's 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 Twitter has made it uh, probably a whole lot bigger than what it could have been. So everybody's so talking about it. We come together yeah. to talk about it and it's it's awesome, man. We all have our uh our theories and yeah. You know, yeah, it's pretty It's cool. how I got on because I saw everyone sharing these videos of like I think the episode that caught my eye the most was when Gohan was fighting Goku mm-hmm. and actually did a pretty good job as they were training for the tournament of power right. and I was just like, "Yo, I got to watch this." So I watched this and I was like, "Yo, yo I got to run this back." Like we're in 93. I initially I didn't watch it because they were running back sort of the Battle of Gods. Yeah, they basically took the movies and made it a quick two seasons when it it went now when 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 they introduced black and zamasu that's when things really started turning up because right. i think the whole super saiyan rose was like what yeah it was such a big i it was just a huge thing like it's just like whoa this super saiyan has pink hair it looks dope his eyes are fucking gray 
Yeah. His, his costume was perfect. His everything. Goku looked- Black. Oh. Goku Black. Just the name Goku Black. It's just like, whoa. Yeah, man. Like, I, 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 I love, like, I, I, Who's writing for this? Right, it's it's amazing. It was amazing. Um, If you're gonna do a a Goku clone, you know they did it the right way. Yeah, they did it the right way. But this trailer comes right in time. This trailer comes pretty much days before the finale or the last episode of the Tournament of Power. Well, everything's Mm -hmm. at its peak, and we've got to run through the Tournament of Power before before we even get the Dragon Ball. You know, episode 130, which was. One of the greatest episodes of dra- in all of Dragon Ball. I have oh to man, say. yeah. I mean, oh. it's it's it is tough. It's 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 tough to say it out loud. Like, man. Yeah, it's worth the hyperbole. Maybe, yeah, maybe this was the best episode ever. Like, I'm I'm watching. I'm just like, yo, this is incredible. Like, it's I'm up like, there, man. It's up. It there, is. Man. It is really up there. And one more thing, man. I, I know as far as the trailer is concerned, it said you know Earth has Goku, Super Saiyan has no limits. I, like, as 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 fans, you know, don't get that so mixed in with what's going on right now, because there's a good chance that this movie may take place before the tournament and may not have nothing to do with Earth being saved or not being saved. So Right. You, and we've got our predictions of what happens in the show. Yeah. Yeah. But let's let's get back. Let's get back to the Tournament of Power. And before we sure. get to episode 130, we're going to sort of, you know, rewind back because we've been going through this in the in a pretty, you know, selective way. Last episode that I had on um, with Carlos and Jimmy, that's Two Bells podcast. You can also listen to that. I'm on that as well. If you'd like to listen to it, soundcloud.com backslash Two Bells podcast. Or you go yeah. to twobells.com. Um, but the last thing we covered was pretty much they defeated that um that giant monster that fused together with the robots with you know it was like oh uh, pepperoni yeah, was, yeah, yeah yeah so we 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 cleared that and now we they've essentially cleared the stage for the main event and we have as, as everyone thought in the beginning we have universe <laughs> seven versus universe eleven yeah and I want to talk about the lineup just the lineup of what everyone that we have left at this point because on universe seven we have we have Goku of course. Mm-hmm. We were not going to not have him. Um, we have Vegeta. We have Frieza. We have Android 17. We have um, and Gohan, I believe. The last five. So they're five and to Universe 11's three, which is, um, I want to say Dispo or Dispo? Dis- <laughs> it, it, I, 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 think it's, butch- I think it's Dispo. It's, but Dispo, Topo. Dispo. Jiren. I want to say Dispo, Topo, Jiren. I think I'm pretty sure it's Dispo. We've been butchering these names for <laughs> yeah, the it's entire hard. thing, but it's it is what it is. Um, how do you feel about these final two teams, man? Like, it's uh, a- I honestly, I think it's really cool um, that they outweighed our generation a little bit more as far as numbers are concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Gohan is is kind of there just to be there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, I never thought that he was going to be the one to be top three or last two or whatever. Anyways, unless he um, awoken some sort of beast inside or something, right? Which I mean, they kind of, you know, they had us thinking maybe that was something that was going to happen when he was talking to Piccolo, uh, yeah, prior. But you know, whatever that that didn't go that way, and that's fine. You know, he's a family man now. So, uh, but I honestly, uh, you got you got my two MVPs, uh, uh, Frieza and Seventeen. Yes. Uh, and then Vegeta. Vegeta. In- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vegeta, Vegeta, man. Yeah. He really, really stepped it up um, during during this time period. And of course, Goku, who is basically who's everybody's everybody's basically protecting him. Right. Pretty much. <laughs> because they they know what he's capable of. They know the ultra instinct. They know how he went up against Jiren and defeated mm-hmm. Kefla at this point. Right. Um, and on the now, universe 11 11. side, we have th- Dispo, we have Dispo, who by all means was very close to being eliminated just a couple episodes earlier by Hit. He was saved by the like the skin of his teeth. He was mm-hmm. saved by virtue of one of the other fighters sacrificing themselves so they can keep Dispo. Um, who's very talented. Like mm-hmm. he's he's a dope character to me. Like, besides the fact that he's whatever species Beerus and Mm-hmm. Jump are, but <laughs> he's like a cool he's a cool speed guy like he's he, it's really to me it's hard to make speed yeah like because they're cool so, right? you know what i mean they're so i mean who we remember we remember um what's his name from the ginyu force burt no burt. Uh, yeah we i think we talked i think we talked about it 
the uh, just the speed guys, just the yeah, speed guys. You know? They're so hard to write for where they don't say like I'm clearly the faster than you, and right. it's like, and he beats Freeze's ass. Yeah, but it, we have we have Dispo, we have Tapo, who's done like the he's done the bare. I don't I want to say bare minimum, but he, he's had his share of action. He's had a share of action, really, more so against the Universe 7 guys, and the, everything has been sort of inconclusive. Free, free, um, free, free Topo, man. And, free we topo, ha- man. and we have Jiren, who's just the enigma of a fighter, the people that seemingly no one can beat. And he's just, you know, he's unstoppable Jiren. He's yeah. untoppable OP. Jiren. OP, Mr. OP. OP. Under the dictionary, he's picture this guy. One of the one of these things, and we're not going to go through it episode by episode. I think I tried that the last couple podcasts, and I just like it just didn't. <laughs> it, cool, it, feel, it feels more. It feels better as like a discussion to have. Yeah, so yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want to have these topics. So we, one of the big things that happened is Vegeta's ascent to the next level during this entire tournament. Beautiful, uh, Vegeta. He is sort of. You know he's out to prove himself as well against Jiren. He's out to prove himself that he can um, hang with Jiren. He's not someone that just like who's waiting for Goku to you know right. pick up the scraps. He's not someone. He wants to do it his own way, and he's determined to do it in his own way. He says something along the lines of, "I don't care about becoming Ultra Instinct. I will beat you my own way." Um, Looks Kakal- like he's finally gotten over being more powerful or whatever with Goku. I think he's figured out that his family and his life is a bit more important than being stronger than Goku. So It's great. Um and and I mean we saw that hinted before when he almost didn't even come to the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, so it's because it, of family. You're right, because of family. So he he manages to get a few shots in on Jiren, but Jiren absolutely it, at some point slaps the god out of like <laughs> yeah, it's just too much. It was just too much. Was, I, I, yeah, I love Vegeta. It was just it was just too much. But the new form uh are they calling it Super Vegeta 2, Blue 2? or I think they're calling it the Limit Breaker form. Limit, okay. Well, and uh, I think they're calling it the Limit Breaker form. And what I'd probably um, what I'd probably compare this to and what they've been comparing it to in terms of all the studies that I'm doing is, is Super Saiyan Blue is essentially like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan form. If right, you, right. If you can understand what I just said out of my mouth, probably. Yeah. I get it. I get it. And I mean, it, so, it, it's only, it's only right that they gave this to him. So this is the form of Super Vegeta. And if you remember Super Vegeta from the Cell Saga, it was the one who once against the second form of Cell. You know, he came in, he stepped out of the hyperbolic time chamber, extra cocky. A little buff. A little, little too buff. A little too buff. Feeling himself. And as right, I rightfully so, he slapped yeah. around Cell pretty handedly during that time. Nearly killed the guy. Mm-hmm. Um but it was his sort of his ego that got in the way. But now it's his pride that's fueling him. And this pride takes him to the next level. And he becomes the super slain limit breaker form. And it's amazing. I love the eyes on it. You do love the eyes. I think the eyes were a little soft I for lo- him. But I, but I like the way it looks overall. I'm more interested in the uh, easy, breezy, beautiful <laughs> the hair, man. The hair is just luscious. Man. It's beautiful. Like uh, it's the ridiculous. color, the... I don't know. It's just... I, I like his physique too. I like the physique change. The physique, like this is this is I know this is really weird. But listen, sure. uh, Goku like red, like Goku red, like the Super Saiyan or the, just the regular God form. Yes, uh, I'm just gonna call him Goku red. Goku red, his physique in the face is so cool to me. It's almost like he like de aged. Yeah, like, he a looks bit, like right? he's like it's 18. godlike. It's yeah. like immortal. It's like right, right. And I and I, I get the same like the physique that they that they did for. Uh, for this for this new Vegeta form, it, it's it, it that's what it reminds me of. Like that's them giving them that 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 look. Because guess what, Goku got Super Saiyan three, Vegeta didn't. Right. Goku got uh, uh, Super, Saiyan Super Saiyan Red, or he got Super Saiyan Red, or God, and Vegeta didn't. He got this. So I love that they're keeping them separate to an to an extent, and uh, not to mention now it makes Vegeta so much more interesting that they got rid of this, the power level thing, because you can actually look at him as an individual and not just somebody who's trying to be stronger than Goku. I love the animation. I love the little like crystal things that are up. Apparently the Dragon Ball wiki is calling this um, Shinka, uh, Super Saiyan God Shinka form or the power beyond Super Saiyan Blue. I'm sure we'll get it. Yeah. They'll, they'll, yeah, they'll ice that up, but it's, it's amazing. And it's, um, he, he 
unlocks this and he finds himself while his power level does go up tremendously. It's still no match for Jiren, but it's at the same time, you know, he manages. It's, to be, it's on he, destruction levels. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's managed to hold his own. I want to yeah. give, I want to give, there's a good moment during this entire thing. The episode that G- Vegeta's pretty much knocked out. And there is this episode where Goku's fighting Jiren himself. And I just want to give a shout out to this moment because this may be the smartest that Goku has ever fought. In terms of just fighting for survival, he does this thing where he lays these um he lays these like power grenades on the floor all around Jiren yeah. to sort of throw him off so he walks on it and explodes to try to catch cool. him off guard. And there's this moment on the edge of the cliff where he's fighting Jiren and he almost seems like he gets knocked off. He slides under Jiren. Jiren tries to come at him, and then the destructo discs that he like release. <laughs> Yeah. Moments earlier, slice off the rock, and it looks like Jiren is about to fall off the end. Yeah, yeah, it was very cool. And it was Goku's just smiling. He's like, I got you. He's figuring out, yo, there's more than one way to win this. It can't mm-hmm. just be strength. It just can't be power. There's got to be another way to win this. And it's probably the most crafty that Goku has ever been in the entire yeah. series. And it's foreshadowing to all that strength talk Jiren was even talking about. It, it kind of separates. That's, I mean, that's what separates Jiren and Goku to me. Yeah, is just the, cr- the creativity. Uh, I mean, Goku is obviously a bit more desperate. Yeah, <laughs> so he's but it, in that in that desperate, he becomes resourceful. Whereas we see later on Jiren in this sort of desperate act, he becomes even more insane. He be, yeah. he snaps. Yeah, he starts to kind of get out of character. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're supposed to be, you know, you you, you fight against justice or you right. fight for justice. I'm sorry, uh, on your on your planet. Uh, and I, like you, like you know, they're basically, you know, uh, they're basically people who they're cops, right? I mean, they 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 look after their people. They they you know handle bad guys, whatever's going on on their earth or on their world. That's what they're that's what they're doing. But he definitely gets out of character a few times uh, against Goku. But the, we have we have Vegeta and Goku battling off against Jiren. They think they can hold him on his own. And then we, we slide over to the other side of the coin and we have Frieza. And Frieza's standing across from D- um, Dispo. And it's the most it's the, it's the battle of two people who talk the most cash shit on the show. <laughs> yeah. It's like this, at first I think Frieza did not know what the fuck to do with him. Yeah. Because he was Despo was beating his ass. Yeah, I mean, well, Frieza at first, he's just like, listen, I've I've heard I've heard the super fast thing before. I've seen it all before. It doesn't matter to me. It, it, the, eventually, the speed gets the best of Frieza. Even in golden Frieza form, it manages to get the best of him. But I, I still love the way just like he's talking just cash shit. I mean, the character of Frieza stays Frieza no matter what. Yeah, he don't uh, he don't he don't stop, man. He don't stop. Um, he he has this great, you know exchange with dispo and we eventually see you know he, he gets help from gohan gohan and android a17 are off on the fights trying to get um get Tapo off and then gohan decides listen i need to go help frieza it looks like dispo is getting the best of him they get some like frieza gets these this like laser cage that he makes with his fingers and once again <laughs> just like the coolest technique to like yeah. kill people it's just yeah. fingers shout shout shouts them like keeping Frieza interesting all this time. Yeah. Shout out to Frieza still being an asshole because even as Gohan's coming to help him, he's like, Are you sure you want to help me? Are you afraid I might turn on you? Like yeah, are you it's like, like man, he's 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 in everybody's ear the whole tournament. One hundred percent. Like, just hey, a- I may hit you in the middle of the tournament, <laughs> just so you know. I could knock you off. But eventually Gohan, you know, eventually Gohan grabs Dispo, Frieza, you know, blasts a laser at him. They're both eliminated. Gohan is eliminated from the tournament. How do you feel like Gohan did just entirely? How do you feel? Uh, fair? What, no, how would you grade I, I him? Think, I think he was, I think he was fair. You how know? would you grade like, him? On a, a, if, in if, an A to F scale. If I was, now, if I was Piccolo. Mm-hmm. If, if, if we're talking Dragon Ball Z Piccolo, he'd probably be a whole lot more harsh on Gohan. Yeah, this super Piccolo is kind of like. I think he understands Gohan's situation like as a man. Yeah, so like he's probably a lot more like soft on him. But I think I think he was fair. I give him a nice like. I probably give him a seven. Mm, seven out of ten. Yeah, I think he was fair. I think I think that was uh, a good, uh, an awesome thing 
He so eliminated a couple of universes. Mm-hmm. I mean, he did his thing. He eliminated universe. I mean, he was the last person to eliminate universe six, and I believe universe ten or something along those lines. And he um, sacrificed himself. He sacrificed himself for the best, better of the team. He was supposed to be the leader. I don't know where that went. I think they like halfway through this, they're just like whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, the leader. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, but, with that, with that mystic shit, you gonna need more than that, man. Right. So they get they get over the god of destruction, Tapo. Um, before I, I guess we will we'll parlay in the guy's yeah, destruction yeah, Tapo because I've got words for him. Topo. But Tapo is trying to fight off Android 17, and Frieza shows up and is just like, I'm blasting you in the back now. I hope you can handle this. Can you handle this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to shoot the shit out of you. Um, <laughs> they almost eliminate Tapo, and I think it is just the cash shit that freeze is talking and it's just the, his mouth always gets in trouble because it's that same mouth that got goku to turn super saiyan and mm-hmm. all this other shit he gets but, he gets the best he'll get the best of you he will just just off the verbal he's just like yo trash belongs in the trash my man said <laughs> you did all that powering up just to just to do that just to look like that <laughs> so not rocking with that at some point Tapo is just like justice is worthless <laughs> he's a ben he's abandoned everything that he, uh, yeah, yeah these guys are in. weird bro like that universe 11 is there's some weird because you it's like it's a weird complex they have where they're yeah. just like if, if they're you know threatened they just sort of abandon all their ideas <laughs> And it's kind of like just move on from anything justice related. Whereas Frieza, I mean, through the rest of this tournament, we're seeing Frieza get knocked the hell out. And at the same time, it's still talking the cash shit that he don't he's care. talking. He don't, he don't give stop. a fuck. It's no part man. of his game. It's part of his game. Oh my god! So Tapo evolves into this god of destruction. Tapo, I'm calling this evolve because it straight up looks like a Pokemon transformation. Yeah, he looks way cooler. He looks way um, cooler. He's got abs. He's got I, arms. He's I got... don't know if it's cool enough for J five. No, but really? he's he's cool. Like he, I like the little marks that he gets. Uh, what is it on his chest? Yeah, it's on yeah, his chest. Yeah, the little marks. I he he looks buffer. I guess I still can't get over just his design from a from a facial standpoint is weird for me. Like I like he just like he just doesn't look cool to me. Like he just doesn't yeah. look cool overall. But Listen. I do like this guy of destruction uh, form. It's it's uh, it's insane. First of all, I mean, we now after looking back at that and going through the episodes that I did, it makes sense why he was with you know Belmod and their Universe Eleven's Kai mm-hmm. in that um, universe yeah, exhibition. Yeah. Yeah, and he absolutely. was that he was the sort of mass fighter that was with them, and he was really the only fighter besides the Universe Nine fighters that were with them watching this. And it's 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 revealed that Look, he man. in training to become the new right. God of destruction. I'll tell you what, man they they definitely brought him along to to not just bring him along just from a tactic a tactical standpoint of this guy being very powerful, mm-hmm. but I think also it was look when this series comes back. Topo will probably be a god of destruction. Yeah, and uh, I think them bringing him along earlier in the in the in the prior uh, in the in the prior tournament mm-hmm. uh, was more of let's let's test this guy out. Let's see if he's got it, and then, right. and then it all comes it all, you know it all comes through uh, in in the final tournament when you actually get to see what why they kept him around like that, and if he is I, is he they keep talking about he has the power of a god of destruction I'm not calling him one yet but so yeah he has yeah. the power he it has it isn't fully realized because he has to pretty much charge up before he can release it it's not like the other god of destruction where it comes easy for him mm-hmm. he's still in training so i think that's the fatal flaw that they found with him that he has to charge up so he beats the the living hell out of frieza i mean it's yeah. one of the worst beatings that frieza has taken <laughs> Just like almost squishes his head in his hand, like it was, and that's it, yeah. a, that's Tapo's mo. Like he likes to break bones, he likes to squeeze faces, he likes to squeeze bodies. Like some, that's a demo. some justice guy, right? Like some, um, some justice for for humanity. I do feel like everyone seems to have a transformation. Like everyone who reaches toward the end, we've seen Dispo, who moves to maximum ultra light speed mode. <laughs> we've seen God Such of Destruction. Right. Right, right. It's just a they gotta they gotta clean that up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got it sounds like some Hercule made up. Yeah, it's just um, lame. We got a we got we've got God of Destruction Mo Tapo, who's just like the next form, and then we even see you know we even see 
later on we see Jiren even get a new form in response to something. We'll, we'll talk about that too because uh, when we get to one thirty, we're definitely going to talk about Jiren's uh, whatever it is. Right. Well, uh, um, Tapo decides after he disposes of Frieza, he's out trying to get Seventeen, and Seventeen is doing his best to survive. He's doing his best to stick and move while he can think of an idea in terms of how he's able to beat this guy. Somehow, Tapo gets involved in the Vegeta Goku Jiren skirmish, and he pretty much insults, you know, he pretty much insults Vegeta and Vegeta retorts that you are a loser. You are yeah. someone who gave up your ideals just to, you know, who sacrificed everything that they believed in to, 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 to obtain this new form. And Vegeta will not do that. Vegeta will not sacrifice his pride. Vegeta will not sacrifice the way he feels about his family and the promises that he made and all this other stuff. So f- go, Vegeta, I don't know, further ascends. I don't even want to say it. it's not a new form, but he, he, he reaches. He, yeah, he reaches he he reaches in his bag. Yeah, he reaches in his <laughs> bag, and he pretty much damn near Dog, destroys bro. Tapo. He I mean, washes God destruction Tapo, and that, and that kind of shows you how strong Vegeta really is at this point. Because it's not even the 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 energy the the God of Destruction energy. It's the energy the energy of destruction rather um, that's supposed to destroy anything that touches. He manages just to blast through that, Bro. and we see this moment, and they flash back to the Boo Saga where he does his. You know, I, f- I forgot what technique it's called. It's maybe it's like a final extension technique where he essentially blows himself up to you know. Yeah, he just releases all of his energy and it kills him right. in the same process. He manages to do this. He eliminates Tapo. Tapo's gone from the tournament, but Vegeta lives and he says, I'm not dead yet, which is an amazing visual. Beautiful. Uh, he's he's gone, his armor is completely like destroyed, but he's still here and he's still moving. Um it, Jiren's response <laughs> to Tapo. Dude, Jiren is so He's such a bad friend. Yeah. Like, this man, Topo, gets eliminated. Jaren's looking up at this guy in the stands. But were they ever friends? I mean, that's, they... That's what I it guess, is now. Were they I guess, I guess you're right. I guess... Well, it looks more on the lines of Topo looks up to Jaren, but yeah. Jaren don't really give two shits about Topo. But after this, after it all happened, he looks up at the stands. He basically tells Topo, like, hey, man, that was some bitch shit. Yeah, it shouldn't have happened to you. He's like, listen, he, he calls him pathetic. <laughs> he says he's disappointed that he's abandoning his beliefs and everything that he stood for mm. in exchange for power. Whereas Vegeta stood by his beliefs and managed to defeat Tapo. And you know, it's a it's a little bit like it's 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 a bit crazy. It's a bit yeah. crazy just to see it. It's just to see it live. Now we have this sort of. I mean, Freeze is out, but he's still in the tournament. So we have this one-on-four situation. Mm-hmm. The remaining fighters, Goku, Vegeta, Android 17, and Frieza. Freeze is completely out of commission. There's no way he's... Yeah, Frieza's he's knocked out somewhere. He's on a rock, chilling. <laughs> um, fucked up. Floating. Mind you, also I want to talk about this. Just a, something brief. The explosion that Vegeta has, and between the explosion Vegeta does and the God of Destruction, the entire stage has changed it's no longer just that giant you know terrain that they have on it's now like half the rocks are floating in space and people are jumping from rock to rock and shit like that and then there's like half the still terrain left and i think it's pretty cool how as a tournament goes on it continues to transform it was this flat surface before it turns into this rocky surface the 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 background lights change at some point like the 20 minute mark they're just like all right time to change your green right right and it's just it's a cool it's just cool the way to stay transformed i think it's something underrated um through it because the terrain changes and things get different and people have to adapt and i don't think people realize that as much mm-hmm. um bingo it's like it's like the whole the whole stage is just you know it's crazy they were trying to keep up with it yeah, <laughs> but I think at the end, uh, what, what's my man, the supreme angel, that the father of what, what's the my grand name? priest, grand priest, grand, grand priest. priest. I guess he just got tired of like trying to fix that shit. Yeah, man. Um, He's like, forget it. 
we have Android 17. And Android 17 is, he's one of the first people to get a actual clear shot on Jiren. Like, someone who Jiren... Man... He he gets him from behind. There's Goku, Vegeta manages to distract Jiren. Jiren can't sense Android 17 because he is an android. And he grabs him from behind and blasts him in the back. And it's the first time Jiren has been, like, pretty much damaged. And I think it's foreshadowing to what happens because he doesn't know how to act. I, 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 I said this on the first episode, bro. 17 is just... He is so good, dude. He's amazing, bro. He's so good. Like, I mean, he's already one. He's already an android, which is just cool enough, right? Yes, so yes. He's Easily. cool. He's cool enough. And, uh, you know, just everything about the character, you know, right. just just the willingness to 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 be a sacrifice, the willingness to uh, go head on with with people who he knows is probably stronger than him. But he's he's more he's, he's smarter. Yeah. He's smarter. He's smarter. He manages to catch Jiren off guard. Um, it's a oh great! My job is closed tomorrow. Amazing. Um, <laughs> wow, Mills. He had to, he had to. You see what happened? The job closed. He had to stop everything. I had to stop everything. All right. Um, Jiren is <laughs> Jiren is injured for the first time. Um, Jiren is injured for the first time. He's he doesn't know how to react. He's it's it's kind of crazy. Um, but. He, Jiren still manages to get the best out of all three of them, and Android 17's like desperate times calls for desperate measures in a sense. Um, he sees Jiren coming after Goku and Vegeta, and he knows if there's anyone that can manage to defeat Jiren, it's going to be one of these two. Right. He essentially, you know, he explodes himself to sort of negate the shot that Jiren is sending towards all three of them. And by all means and purpose, Android 17, at least the Grand Priest says, um, we cannot sense Android 17. We don't know where he is. It feels like... Isn't that he, cool? You know, yeah. Because it, it, he is an android and they didn't know... Even Think about that. Right. Even an angel couldn't sense didn't if he know. was alive. So they essentially said, they don't, I don't know, they didn't hit the button say eliminated, but they essentially do say like, yo, he's out of here. Like he's gone... Um, it is now down down to these three fighters left, or some along those lines, and it's from one sacrifice to the next. We got Vegeta sacrificing himself next because Vegeta is just like, listen, go Goku has no power. The, the man could barely stand. Uh, Vegeta himself, he can barely transform. He's there fighting Jiren, trying to make a just trying to do anything he can, mm-hmm. but Jiren just kind of like. Just yeah, knocks just, him out the just, game. Yeah, he just keeps Jaren just keeps ascending to whatever he needs to, to to ascend to to win. And he just pretty much knocks Vegeta out. We see this Vegeta fighting with a black eye. We never really see that. Um he gets all yeah, the that was, that injuries. was one hell of an ass whooping, too. Yeah. Like like Vegeta's had some ass whoopings. I think 18 beat his ass pretty good. Uh, Frieza, you know, Frieza beat his ass pretty good to the point where Goku felt sorry for him. Yeah. That was like the first time Goku even talked about having pride for being a Saiyan. I'll never forget that too. So, you know, yeah, he's had some ass whoopings, but this one was was pretty pretty fucked up because he was basically completely he was, you know, it was raw, dude. Like he got his yeah. ass beat with, and he had he was just a a regular he was in regular mode, man. Man, he tried his best. He tried. Jiren was pretty much like, listen, you know, even at some point, like he tried, he almost knocks him off with like Vegeta's boot gets stuck and he manages to do that. Um, he punches Vegeta, eliminates him in the process. And before Vegeta is eliminated, he gives his last bit of energy to Goku. And he's like, like Kakarot, like a, like a real, like a real bro. Kakarot, you better not fail me. I will kill you if you do this, even though we'll both be erased. Um, we get to the point. I mean, now it's up to Goku. It's now to it's Goku. seemingly up really, to Goku. That, that's it. It is We're, all up to Goku at this point. Everyone Frieza's is knocked out. Everyone's looking. Is... Everyone's like, yo, Frieza. At, at this point of the series, everyone's just like, man, Frieza's got to pop up somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, what 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 is going to happen? They threw us a damn curve. Man, but Frieza, but Goku's standing up against Jiren. 
He sees Vegeta's sacrifice. He sees Android 17 sacrifice. He sees everything that he has to stand for. He sees that the universe is pretty much all in his hands. He sees everything coming up. And it's enough to transform him into this ultra instinct form for the third time in this tournament. Um, I never really got your thoughts about ultra instinct and what it meant for it to turn the original two times. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked about it on prior podcasts. It's just like how monumental it was the first time. Yeah. And how much of a learning experience it was the second time. Well, to me, it, it appears that it, it's clearly something that is can only happen under a certain circumstance. So I don't think we'll be seeing Goku just go Ultra Instinct yeah. whenever he's facing someone. I mean, uh, he, he at this point, he has like eight other forms that would just be like not yeah, utilized. <laughs> like, it's like he, he'd be fine probably without going to this phase. But yeah, he's, he, he definitely he obviously has to be pushed to that limit, it looks like. So we probably won't be seeing it too much. But um, I, I I love the final I I love the final version. Um, yeah. I'm actually glad it's not a Super Saiyan hair. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the regular hair, the eyes. Uh, again, it's do you think they'll in, do you think they'll incorporate it somehow? Mix Super Saiyan with Ultra Instinct. I mean, they kind of mix Super Saiyan with the Super Saiyan God. You know what? There's actually I want you uh, even the listeners and you too. There, I'm gonna find it as well for you. But there's a scene, and I don't know if like they they fucked it up but there is a where his hair is where up. his hair is up like a super saiyan and it's white i yeah. saw it i noticed it and i just thought oh, i must be just like it was probably just a mistake as far yeah as, it was like, probably just hair going standpoint on. yeah but it did look super saiyan like the hair looked super saiyan like it, it was I, I don't i don't know what happened but uh i love the form mm-hmm. i love it for goku um i like that it's op but i also like that even in the form he still finds some uh you know some issues with jaren as well so yeah. it's 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 yeah it's all powerful but it it's still somebody else also is is right there you know right there with it so he manages i think they spend pretty much all of episode 129 he turns he turns ultra instinct but it's still in the the non-complete way initially but being placed under a, a ton of stress a ton of duress the man jaren has got him on this rock and he's literally blasting the rock. And they're having this like battle where they're punching each other, but you can't really see the punches. So he's slowly chipping away at the rock under him. And if the rock manages to dissipate, he just fall. And you know, at some it, at some point, Goku just like listen, he breaks through, he manages to master ultra instinct, and he gets a good set of shots in on Jiren. And Jiren yeah. is just like, what is he gets this one punch that Jiren's eyes bug out, and it's the first Finally, time that finally Jiren actually looks spooked, like for the first time that we've seen him. It's amazing. It's a battle, it's a clash. I'm loving it. Everything. It's a must see. It's a must see. There's a great speech by Vegeta. Where Belmont is just pretty much at the lines of just like, listen, Jiren's got this. And Vegeta's like, have you not seen what Saiyans have done in this tournament? Saiyans have met every expectation in this tournament that you've had, and they've exceeded it. He's yeah. talking about he's talking about Kaba going to Super Saiyan 2. He's talking about Khalifa and Kale both turning into Kefla. He's talking about v- himself turning into Super Saiyan Blue, you know, Limit Break or Ultra Instinct, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, you know, not Shinka. And he talks about Goku turning, you know, Ultra Instinct and manages to pass that level. He's like to to underestimate a Saiyan in this tournament. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, he you shouldn't be, be talking like that at this point. W- yeah, he calls them fools. I'm like, this, this guy's really talking cash shit to God of Destruction. Probably because yeah. he knows he can probably beat them at this yeah, point. Yeah, see, at this, it's different <laughs> now, right? See, like, you, you're going against guys who you may be able to add up with from a, from a strength standpoint, a power standpoint. So he probably, but you don't, you know. Um, so now we get to episode 130. Yeah. Episode 130. Episode is- 130. Guys, one of the best episodes in Dragon Ball history, oh, man. It, I mean, and that it deserves a hyperbole because I mean, I don't think I've ever felt this way watching it and at the end of it ever. And I'll absolutely, I will give you my first reactions to it because I'm 100% sure. But we have to, in terms of the synopsis of this, it's Goku has mastered Ultra Instinct and he's got Jiren on the ropes. and 
Jiren doesn't quite know how to react to this because it's the first time really that he is not at an advantage in this tournament. Mm-hmm. He is not, he, he had, he's being beaten. He doesn't know what to do. And it's this rare thing for, I guess the antagonist, be, well, I don't know. It's not rare, but at this point in the battle, it's kind of rare. Usually Goku goes to the next level and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of over from there, mm-hmm. but Jiren kind of meets him by ascending to another level too. I mean, he gets, he, he goes through this sort of rage or whatever it is. Uh, you know, th- this is what I'm, we were talking earlier on the episode. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm a, the, here's one of the only takeaways that I, that I, I I'm not gonna say I don't like it. It's just that aura looks just like Ultra Instinct, and yeah. I really wasn't sure how to feel about it because they obviously didn't say Jar- Jaren's obviously not an Ultra Instinct, but the aura was exactly like Goku's except red. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if that means anything. Take that with a grain of salt. But it might have been just a red versus blue thing. It uh, might yeah, just I been. Know. It just looked very similar, and I'm just like, all right. He Jiren, he's out there. His shirt is off. Whatever, my man's. He got veins out of his it eyebrows. Looks sick. Like he's the coolest he's looked too. He's gone off. He's he's pretty much he's lost it at this point. Um, he can't understand why he's being beaten. He has this sort of complex, and I'm, this probably be a best Super opportunity to talk about his backstory. And do you? Let's let's talk about it because not a lot of people have been receptive to his backstory because pretty yeah. much everyone has gone under the assumption that Jiren's a hoe. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jiren's pretty, you know, he, he's kind of a hoe. Um, so Jiren's backstory is they they a few episodes ago when Android Seventeen was still allegedly alive, um, Android Seventeen asked him what does he want with the Super Dragon Balls. And Belmod, the god of destruction of his universe, takes this time to go on some tangent about Jiren's childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, Jiren was a child. You know, he lived in this neighborhood. There was this, you know, there was this villain that came and killed his family and killed his entire neighborhood. And he was saved by pretty much the guy who ended up training him. Um, eventually, the villain... Hey, you came- know, go ahead. Did they, did they talk about who trained him? N- I mean, not really. That's interesting. They did. They, they, it's just a figure. I'm sure it'll come up. I'm sure it'll come up in a manga. But. It's just a figure. You know, it reminds me of, I don't know if you watch Adventure Time, um, mm-hmm. Billy. Yeah. That's what it kind of reminded yeah, me yeah, of. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but he, he manages, the villain eventually comes back and he kills, you know, the person who trained him as well. And he, you know, he kills a lot of his friends and he tries to, Jiren tries to get someone to, you know, get the get an army of fighters to fight this guy but they don't want to fight because they're afraid of being killed mm-hmm. and Jiren from there on is Jiren's lust for power he's he thinks power will bring him strength power will make you know his problems go away power will bring him friends power will bring him everything everything is related to power he only wants to become stronger and it's a uh, bit it's a bit of a basic backstory yeah um, I got I, you know I'm hoping uh, through the manga, it'll be a lot deeper. I'm sure they. I'm sure they'll get into it a little bit more. Um, mm-hmm. But I, you know, I don't mind it because I just think that it's something that we shouldn't have to focus on right now. Anyways, I, I, I don't know. I kind of got used to the idea of he's just strong as shit. I think I, they did I, I this on purpose. It I, it's definitely on purpose because they picked this exact point where I think they didn't want to completely write Jiren off as this undestructible killing machine. And they wanted to add a bit of humility and a bit of, uh, even a thread of just like this stuff is warranted. And the way he feels is warranted because of this. It's similar to the way that like trunks, when trunks always comes back, trunks is future trunks. I'm talking about future trunks is kind of a spaz. We all know him to be a spaz. <laughs> yeah, He's kind yeah. of a spaz basically because he pretty much has PTSD because his universe has been destroyed so many times by various creatures. It's been androids. It's been bio androids. It's been Goku Black. 
all he's known is destruction his entire life. His is 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 his um his own master was killed. Master Gohan was killed. So he kind of responds to things in a certain way. Whereas Jiren kind of follows the same suit, but he kind of follows it in this the suit that he wants power mm-hmm. and he believes that power is sort of the answer to everything. Right. It's 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 you know, it, it, look, I think this that's what makes Jiren so unique is because I don't think he's a villain. Yeah. I just think that for once, uh, there is just somebody as strong as Goku. And I think it's hard to it's hard to fathom that, but now that they're going against each other, Jaren does have specific type of things that he says or things that he does during this fight that just makes him so bitter and just like evil almost, you know? Like you're just like like okay, well, let, let's get into I want to get into the scene where he uh he 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 shoots that energy ball at uh the you know the the watchers. The watchers. Yeah. So essentially he's a uh... Goku's saying, like, listen, I mean, or at least they're talking about in the stands, they're talking about, hey, um, Goku's running on, Goku's not lusting for power. I mean, he's he's fighting for his friends, he's fighting for his comrades. They go through this beautiful scene through Dragon Ball where he's fighting Krillin and Master Roshi in the mm-hmm. tournament. Yet. He's fighting Piccolo. He was it Piccolo a, who was talking about this? It, it was who, either who was, Piccolo, who was talking? I think it was Master Roshi. Um, but he's fighting all of these guys. There's even this like thing at Frieza, which was crazy. It's just um and just how far everyone has become has um has come in this tournament. Um and Jiren's pretty much like, screw that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not I don't, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Why are listen, you telling me that? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> what this is so painful. Why would you bring this up? <laughs> no. Yeah, like he was not trying to hear that shit at he, all. He he got frustrated. He got, he got frustrated and he pretty much threw an energy blast at the It was the, a cheap shot. It was I a think cheap he shot. always knew it wasn't gonna hit. Yeah, I, I think he knew Goku was gonna get there and he block got, it. Um, it was more of a it was more of a uh, emotional outburst, I wanna say. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, and cause after I believe after he goes See, look how easy that was. I can right. easily, I can easily eliminate all that stuff you're talking about as far yeah. as friends and family. Like he's like, I don't. That's nothing to me. That's basically right. he was trying to get a point across. Pretty much, um, this pisses off Goku, and we we rarely see Goku pissed off. I can't count on how many times. I mean, we've seen him pissed off against Frieza. Um, damn, that might yeah. be it, man. It just doesn't happen often with him. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Usually, he's enjoying his time. He's glad he's fighting whoever he's fighting. Uh, he's shit. Sometimes he's smiling. Uh, he's enjoying it. It doesn't matter if the person is saying, hey, after I kill you, I'm going to destroy your whole planet. Listen, Goku retorts with the f- the punches of all punches. <laughs> the man comes from top left of your screen yeah. through the top to the bottom right of your screen. Probably my favorite scene. It, it it's a beautiful like I want to have this as the background of my like thing because it's just it's amazing like if yeah. you look at it like so he gets punched in the face he blasts him with this amazing kamehameha oh, um, where he doesn't even he don't, at this point Ultra Instinct is so strong like he don't even say it no more he just reaches back paws it up and says hi listen because with Ultra Instinct you'd have to think and then you'd have to think to say words and all this yeah, other that you yeah, probably yeah. throw yourself off or some shit like that absolutely um. He blasts him with Kamehameha. Jiren is on the ground. He can't move. Goku, he's pretty much reached this point. Goku can finish him off right now. And, and we get to this point where Goku has this ball of energy in his hands. And it looks like. It, it looks, looks like. It looks, it looks like. like Mills? It looks like. If you've seen the Freezer saga, it looks like he's about to give him energy. Hey, man. I, it looks it like. It like he was about to give him energy, man. Like, I don't. Because I th- he said, he goes, he goes. Uh, you know, by looking by a guy like you, it looks like you already know this is over. That's kind of like what he. That's what Goku basically said to Jaren after Jaren was kind of on the ground, fucked up. Mm-hmm. Goku looks at him. He's like, "You, you already." Go, Jaren was like, "Just finish me or something just like finish that." Finish it, and, yeah. Just get and, me. And Goku was like, "You know, you seem like the type of fighter who kind of already knows the situation he's in." Right. And then he like Goku does like a kind of like a like a like a like a frustrating sigh. 
Yeah. And then he starts slowly because he gets up. He, his- he, he sees like not only this, he, he understands that I feel like on one hand, he understands Jiren's a great fighter. Yeah, he also respectful. understands that Jiren is incredibly flawed yeah. and he's not flawed necessarily by his own design where he believes in, you know, evil. He's flawed by the environment that's I felt like it's kind of like failed him. Yeah. It's like his entire you, you learn about his entire history and he's thinking I'm assuming he's thinking like, yo, if he just had the friends that I had, the right. countries I had, with the people that I had, he wouldn't feel this way. But he does. Yeah, I think Goku was truly hurt that Jaren like doesn't give a fuck about having any friends or family. Like I, I think Goku probably did not rock with that. And right. he was it probably frustrated him a little bit. But he he knows what he has to do because there can only be one winner in this tournament and he can't just let Jiren rock. There has to be a winner in this tournament. Right. So if it was energy or an actual shot, we'll never know because next man, uh, just it, uh, my second favorite scene, the world uh, come crashes down on boom. Goku in one instant. And it's this amazing visual that everything while well, everything was so vibrant and colorful in this episode, mm-hmm. like all the energy, it's just black and red. It's also, just... the, that that animation happened uh, in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, actually, I was just I was watching. I started Z over uh, a few weeks ago, but I was sure. watching this episode. I'm like on the first thirty episodes. I think I want to say it was a. I want to say it was a Nappa scene, but they do the same thing. It's really cool. I got to send you the link. It's the same. It's almost the same animation bro it's really cool um but this blood splash just like kind of yeah it's just like you thought something happened where uh, my my initial thought frieza yeah, of course everybody thought frieza had frieza blasted clock. through goku's Goku, chest yeah. and for some reason they thought this was 100 percent legible during this kid right. show we know it wasn't jaren because yeah. jaren had saw it happening he was like oh shit like like his yeah. face was even like my brother was, was like oh what the fuck was that <laughs> yeah, yeah like but it was mastered ultra instinct failing and yeah. i guess limit breaking powers of the gods basically just it was too much for goku's body at that point yeah it wasn't i think um apparently the the power of the gods takes you know much of a heavier toll than it would on i guess a mortal body mm-hmm. um and also, I don't think the Ultra Instinct was meant to be sustained for that long. I think we, I think that either the episode before or at the beginning of the episode talks about it. He was like, Ultra Instinct isn't meant to be sustained that long. So if Goku, the next time Goku transforms down from Ultra Instinct, the battle will have will be decided. Right, and, and that, think about what you just said. Doesn't last that long. What? How long? How many minutes do we have left? We have no idea. Bro, we have no idea. Bro. They have not talked about the minutes in like four episodes at this point. Bro, this man Goku probably has only really been in final Ultra Instinct form for like a minute or two. Right. All this stuff has. It's got to be a minute. It's got to be because it hasn't ended. Right. He, they said there was two minutes left. What three episodes ago? Yeah, something. So like that. he's probably only been in this form for like a minute. Yeah. Think about that. Think about he's in this form for for a minute. And they gave up on him that fast. Like that's something that I think you you gotta you gotta notice because you know we're watching it. And it's thirty minutes, episodes, thirty minutes. But yeah. in in real true time, it ha- there's two minutes left in the tournament. Bro, <clears throat> bro, it happens. I don't know what to believe anymore. I was just like, oh man, it was I incredible. Literally, I literally was just they took the wind out of my sails, which is amazing. I love it. Did you think that was it? Did you think it was like, okay, here's Frieza's time to do whatever he's gonna do? This was yeah, because oh. I was I was kind of like, oh wow, they're going with this. Like um, I wasn't really thinking about, uh, you know, if Goku goes flying off, Frieza's gonna. I wasn't. I was so excited in the moment. I said, damn. And then obviously, J- see, and then okay. So the thing we we ideally what we want to happen is Ultra Instinct comes, he he attains this new power, he blasts him off, and he comes home the winner. Yay, everyone cheers. Right, and of course they don't give it to you like that, right? It's like, man, Jaren's words again. He's been very strange. He's been very strange this whole time. But you know, just well, I guess we can say what fifteen seconds prior, Mm -hmm. uh, he just tried to, he just shot a, a nice energy. At his, fr- at, at, at his friends and Goku's friends. And then 
when Goku was basically down and out after uh, this power had just blasted out of his body, uh, Jaren goes, you know, I really didn't want this to end this way. Um, he, I think he calls him, what's he called? He calls him like proud fighter. Yeah. Like, proud fighter Goku or proud, proud saying Goku, something like that. And he says, I really wish it didn't end this way. Um, so I don't know. He's a, he's a really strange. He's, he's character. having, yeah, he's having second thought. I think he's having moments of remorse, yeah. which I don't think he, in the way he lives his life, he doesn't have many times, but when he, it going up against all these universe seven fighters, I think he's starting to grow it. Yeah. But Belmont quickly throws in his ear. It's like, listen, you need to beat him. And <laughs> Hurry the pay. fuck up the super dragon balls right. don't you want that wish right. and he remembers everything what he's going to do for so he blasts goku and goku falls goku, goku falls. falls we watching goku fall we hear the screams of just like helplessness mm-hmm. we hear him he's plummeting he's plummeting he's plummeting then a blast comes boom it's everyone at, at, at this point if this was a movie <laughs> stood up and cheered. Yeah, I have fucking no... golden free Frieza out of all it's Frieza, bro. It's Frieza. Frieza. And then the second moment, they don't they don't just leave you with one moment. It's literally comes right after. Yeah. Android they... 17 <laughs> from the rubble. Can 17. I tell you? Let me what it's was your lot. reaction? What was your reaction? Because right. I know what when my saw, reaction okay, was. So obviously, as a fan. And as somebody who has Twitter, you know, <laughs> I saw uh, the, the the leaks, right? The, the uh... I saw them, you know, it never, I've always been the type of person, leaks don't really bother me too much. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. A, it's not a big deal. But, uh, uh, you know, I was so happy, man. Because, I, because now I'm thinking about, oh, this last episode is going to be great. Can- like, Oh, man, it was just so cool. It was so cool. I was just, I was, I was shocked. I definitely didn't see it coming. They threw a loop at us because even the leaked stuff had no talk. No, listen, no 17. talk. They did it so well. They talked about Frieza one hundred percent, but not seventeen. Everybody knew Frieza was gonna come back at the end and do something outlandish. I mean, we all knew he wasn't gone, so we right. knew he was gonna be the. But the fact that seventeen was alive as well was just like amazing, bro. Let me tell you, I sat on my couch. With my laptop watching this thing, I saw Frieza come back. I nearly, I wanted to get up and cheer, and I was just like, I did a hearty yes. When I saw seventeen, I can't tell oh. you the, the I spaz, I lost it. The gasp that I've never, I don't think I've experienced this ever. <laughs> like it's literally like I thought it felt like it, and I and I said this, it felt like my girl was like out overseas. And I hadn't seen her for so long. Yeah, you just and she saw came her. back and surprised me for my birthday. It's my and MVP, man. Shout the, 17, man. The wind shot out of me. And I was just like, oh. yeah, I literally bro. did. I was just like. Honestly, oh, I have. Jaren needs to my, do, do the fucking job and put God. over 17, Jaren. Put so, him over. 17 and just all of 17. It's, it's probably the most 17 shit ever that he would fake self-destruct <laughs> and he's like i only have a five percent chance to live this yeah my nigga Thanks. was like oh, thankfully my calculations were right right <laughs> 18's like wow you really are amazing wow fuck, you really like, are i would have fucked that up <laughs> yeah like whoa like how did you even survive that he's so op dude again it's, and you gotta remember like he has human parts now yeah and he survived that my god so, bro you know amazing but uh the episode you know, I, the episode ends we have Frieza, we have Goku, we have Android 17. Goku's hurt. Goku's uh, at at this point out of action. He's hurt. He's laying down on the ground. And, and Frieza and Android 17 says, you know, Goku's out of commission. It looks like it's up to us. And yeah. Jiren has this realization, like, he doesn't know how much time we have left. It's got to be like 30 seconds. It's he's, not, yeah, it's not long. It's not he's, long. he's got a short finite amount of time to knock off these three fighters he has not been that he has not been able to knock off for the last 29 and so ever minutes and i think it's a great sort of thing it's a great it's making for a great episode 131 yeah i'm actually this is the first time i'm actually i'm i am staying away from anything that is related to it yeah Um, so like I've, i've already um 
I've already had to like when I we posted you know the podcast all week like I gotta mute words man I gotta yeah. mute words I don't want to see nothing until until Sunday like I want to oh, see what's gonna happen like so what what Mills man what's what's your prediction man how does this end Oh my God and I'll give you mine Go ahead because I it, it really it's like nothing that I so, have. Okay, so one thing that um the uh the god dis- the god destruction for uh universe 11. Mhm. Um I think he tells Jaren, you know, eliminate them before time runs out. Yeah. And I and I and that was I totally forgot the stipulations of like the actual tournament. But, yeah. Like for people if you guys don't know, uh if this tournament ends and generation seven has more uh universe people, seven we win right or universe what did i say you said generation seven generation you're thinking, seven. I'm you're thinking, thinking of, you're Jesus thinking of another Christ. podcast that we're gonna do oh yeah absolutely probably. bro I, my bad i was like what did i just say generation seven that's that's hilarious but universe seven uh and right now it's three on one yeah so uh my final my my final prediction I think as of, I mean, well, yeah, this is my final prediction. I can't really, you know, say anymore. I think at, at some, some way or another, I think 17 survives this, right? Mm-hmm. I think Frieza is the one that gets eliminated next, but I think Frieza gives his last bit of energy to Goku as a tribute to what happened uh, when he let Frieza live on planet right. dynamic. I think Frieza's is going to give whatever else he's got to Goku right at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think ultimately to protect Jaren, I think time runs out. Um, and that's my main, pre- I, I, I just don't, I, I'm not sure if I see Jaren getting kicked off or Goku getting kicked off. I think it ends with Jaren and, and I'm sorry, uh, 17 and Goku, uh, as your winners. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say this ends with, Android 17 and Frieza as the winner. Okay. And I okay. want to, it, it, in terms of this, I in feel like. In that case, does Goku win MVP? Mm, because. And, all right. So here's a, here's what I think. There, I think Jiren, pretty much, he's at he's got his back against the wall. He has to, as desperate as he's become, he's going to do something more desperate, which is pretty much try to destroy the entire stage. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think. Goku. I mean, the funny thing would be Goku just teleports, you know, grabs on Jared, <laughs> teleports to King Sky's planet, and just like, oh shit, we're exploding this planet again. Oh, God. Um, but I think Goku's pretty much. I think he's going to end up sacrificing himself. I yeah, think I do. So. I do too. I I'm, I think that, that 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 I could see that. I could see that. Goku's that's a good. That's a because when does he? Goku wins a lot of shit. Yeah, he wins a lot of stuff. So. If if it ends up being seventeen and Frieza, good God, that would be. And they awesome. have to kind of, they kind of, they kind of have to accept that now Frieza helped them, you know, help Bro, Universe Seven win. And when maintain. I saw the preview, and I saw Frieza and Seventeen next to each other, powering up, nigga. Man. I was like, man, just make Frieza full time, man. Give 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 Frieza him an episode where he gets his license. Yeah, you know, he learns to drive. Let him, let him find a girlfriend. Like, yo, put him on the damn show, man. Put him Every on the show. Episode. This guy is fantastic, bro. Uh, honestly, uh, I got one more prediction. Go ahead. I think that he's gonna become the god of destruction for uh, Kaba and them's universe. Hmm. Um, I think that sets up Frieza versus Beerus at some point, right? Uh, and I think it ultimately sets up Goku versus Frieza again at some point too. So it's just a little thing I just kind of, uh, you know, been thinking about. I, Frieza definitely, I think he's made little hints about wanting to be some sort of god. Yeah. Um. Uh. But. You know, man, we'll see, man. I, there's so there's so many predictions that you can go to. I actually really like your prediction is Goku sacrificed himself, gets, get, you know, he falls off. Right. Uh, maybe he sacrificed himself by taking Jaren with him. 
Yeah. Or or uh, yeah, maybe Goku sacrifice himself. The time's about to run out, and Frieza and you know I could see Jaren destroying the whole stage, mm-hmm. and uh, you know maybe who but who, we have, who, who falls first? <laughs> right. But we have no idea. We yeah, literally have really no don't. idea. Um, I'm anticipating this episode 131. We're going to get back and we're going to talk about episode 131 for sure. Absolutely. So if you thought this entire week that we've been, you know, listening to this podcast and shout out to you, if you've been tuning in this entire week, um, if you thought just it was going to end here, we've got to talk about the end of the show. Yeah. Like episode six is coming. We can't, we can't just leave it hanging. So episode six, we'll be back next week. I want to say, I want to, I want to push for Monday that we're going to end up having something out, but don't hold me to it. Man, we, we, we can, you know, we can make something happen, man. We That's can cool, make something man. happen. Um, cool. But it's been an amazing couple episodes. It's been an amazing tournament. And I think we're going to, we're going to talk about episode 131 and then we're going to recap the entire thing and sort of just like throw everything in a nutshell, what we liked, what we disliked, everything in between, man. And but, then, uh, you know, super quote unquote ends. Right. Uh, but, Super will be Dragon Ball will be back. I don't want to call it Super. I don't know if it's going to be called Super, but Dragon Ball is coming back. Dragon Ball. Um, it just is what it is. Yeah, it just is what it is. You know, I, I stated it in the first episode. These things happen. Like you know, anime this stuff happens all the time. Yeah. By time, uh, and it, it's cool. It'll hold people off because by time they're done with the dubbed on Toonami, uh, you know, the movie will start probably getting super hot you know what I'm saying? And yeah so and then from there it'll be like it never really was off because i'm gonna watch the dub i mean it oh, is yeah. what it is yeah uh, so i'm watching z over now um i think we definitely gonna have to to rewind and 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 give the fans that that goku black zamasu talk i want to i want to talk I, here's oh, man i want to figure out how we can loop in the android so- saga and then loop it into that Goku Black Zamasu thing because it's a lot of future trunks and maybe yeah, we'll just yeah. go through yeah, an entire yeah, future sure. trunks thing. But we, we can give future trunks a, a lot of love, man. He future trunks is he's dealt with a lot, man. Yeah, man, it's fucking what insane. A, what a life, man. What a life he's had to live, huh? Oh my god! But this has been episode five of the Lookout RNC. But now the co-host of this thing, yeah, myself, Meal Stevie, Jeff, old newsboy. Yeah. You can. F- you can follow RNC Radio on Twitter. Follow us on RNC Radio Live. We've got the podcast popping. We've got the playlist popping. We've got everything sort of moving. We have a great G Unit playlist. If you have not listened to it, man, it's amazing. It's a, it's worth the listen. If you you know fucked with them back in the day, we've got a great you know RNC and R and B playlist that drops today. Um, we're sort of revamping it. We're giving it a whole new you know R and B feel. We've got. Just a whole bunch of just check us out Spotify, Apple Music, all this other stuff. Just follow yeah, RNC. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah, right just follow RNC Radio Live on Twitter, and you'll get everything that you need, pretty much. But um, we're signing off, and we'll be back. We'll be back next week, and we'll be back, and we'll be talking way more Dragon Ball. This shit has been lovely. Absolutely. Uh, um, and Amazing. and yeah, just signing off, man. Signing off until one thirty-one. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>